Hi folks, welcome back. This video here is inspired by the recent discussion on the channel about the possible health risk of me boosting my body's um, electricity. So I guess the socially uh, correct thing to do would be to explain why I'm even interested in experimenting with my body's electricity. And that all goes back to this book right here, The Body Electric, by uh, Dr. Robert O. Becker, who was a medical doctor. And he wrote this book back in 1987. And I'd heard heard about it long before I read it, and uh, which I didn't do till I don't know, probably 10 years ago, uh, when I had a, uh, a health crisis. Uh, I'd torn my Achilles tendon in my left ankle, 80% uh, tear and that completely severed a, uh, a blood vein in my left uh, calf and um, that caused blood clots to travel to my lungs. My lungs collapsed with a pulmonary embolism. I spent three weeks in intensive care, almost died and so uh, I knew that I had to do something uh, about my, uh, my health. So uh, anyway, what Becker was studying was, was the regeneration of the body by lower uh, animals, you know, worms and uh, salamanders and frogs and things like that. And he graduated to, uh, to animals like uh, uh, mice and rats and stuff, and, and, and he was able to uh, regenerate amputated limbs from, uh, from rats and stuff. What he discovered was that electricity plays a, a big role in, uh, in, our, uh, in our physiology, in our, our body. Uh, part one is growth and regrowth. Part two is the stimulating current. Uh, part three is our hidden healing energy. Part four is the essence of life. Um, and he and he covers a, a lot of a lot of different things. Let me read you a couple of uh, incredible amount of information in, in, in here. And he, if we look at the the systems in the body, we have a chemo system in the body, and we have an electrical system in the body, and we also have an, a magnetic system in the body. Okay, and we know most about the chemo reactions in the body, and there's thousands of them. And we but we know most about those because those are the most physical things. Now, when you get to the electrical part of it, when you combine electricity and, and, and chemicals, you get electrochemical reactions and stuff. So we eventually learned that we could affect the body's chemical system by uh, applying electrical currents. And we started, and the first electrical therapy was electroshock therapy, of course, where they shocked people's brains to uh, cause seizures and, and wipe out their short-term memory and stuff we learned that we can combine electricity and magnetism and also affect the body and we've done things like uh, if you apply a 9000 Gauss uh, magnetic field to a certain area of the brain it'll cause you to go to sleep and that has some incredible potential right there Let's, uh, that should be the way we anesthetize people uh, you need some pain relief that seems like a good way to do it to me and then we've also used electromagnetic fields to to influence dreams and uh, can influence the memory with the, with uh, electromagnetic shocks. Uh, we've got electroacupuncture treatments. We've got there's several kinds of electrotherapy treatments and all that. But those treatments are invasive. You're applying electrical currents and stuff to the body. And what I'm doing is is totally non-invasive. I'm not applying any electrical currents to the body. What I'm doing is more of a, uh, if I had to give it a, a title, it would be uh, electropotential manipulation. So all I'm doing is just applying some current collectors to the body, which is jewelry basically, you know, with pieces of jewelry of, of different metals, and because there's a current potential between those two, two metals, then the body wants to raise its voltage to, to up to that potential. If I take my two wrist bracelets here and I connect the pieces of metal together, touch them together and measure that that potential between the two metals and then I separate them and I measure the potential that's going from the metals that's flowing through my body I'll get another value and I could subtract those two right there and that'll give you the resistance of of your body and 
that resistance can be used as a measure of, of our health because the more conductive your body is the higher the less resistance you're going to have and, and the closer you're going to get to reaching the actual potential of those two pieces of metal okay so basically what we're talking about here are biomarkers you know and on, on the chemical side of it there's only really one really good biomarker of health and that's the pH you know our bodies chemically are designed to operate around neutral pH if your pH goes above too far above that or too far below that you get sick okay so there's there's the only one really good physical chemical uh, biomarker that we can use you know you can use blood pressure and and uh, mineral balances and uh, things like that but those are indirect measurements of the chemical potential uh, chemical reactions are pH specific usually now but when you come to electricity which you can combine with the chemo and the magnetic you have a whole lot of biomarkers here the voltage potential of the body when you're young your voltage potential is high as you get older your voltage potential drops when you we know that when you're sick your voltage potential also drops you know and so we can use their voltage potential as a gauge of how healthy we are uh, basically some people the average is 70 uh, millivolts uh, voltage potential but uh, some people's are uh, are way up there they're up uh, closer to a volt which I'm which I can stimulate in my body by making but there are people that do that just naturally okay and then you can measure the amperage of your body which should fluctuate the more uh, conditioned your body is you know the more mitochondria you have in your cells which are the energy production things in your cell you should have a higher uh, amperage uh, rating if you're doing a conditioning program to get your body better in shape you should see that should be reflected in the amount of amperage that your body produces okay now the, the same thing with pol polarity Becker one of the things that he discovered was that when your body gets injured it temporarily reverses the polarity around the injury until the injury starts uh, to stimulate the healing uh, response in the, in the body and then the, then it switches back to its normal uh, polarity again so we can use you can measure polarity on different places of the body and you can tell you should be able to tell from those polarity measurements where the the uh, potential problem areas in the body is and I've already mentioned the, the resistance of the body uh, you know the high, the better conductivity you have in the body the the less resistance you're going to have and you, and the higher your voltage and amperage is going to be and I think one of the things that that reflects the amount of resistance in your body is your mineral balance you know I like um, one of the minerals we requ we require the most of is magnesium and that's one of the minerals that we get the least amount of you know so everybody is magnesium deficiency and magnesium is incredibly conductive you know so I, so by taking magnesium supplements you should you should be able to see a difference in your in your body voltage should show up with by in your supplements so if you change your supplements it should show up in the amount of resistance in in your body so we can use the voltage amperage polarity resistance we can use all of these measurements that we can make with a simple m multimeter you can use all of those things as gauges of potential health problems and as a gauge of uh, potential health if your if your if your metrics are all low then you're you're probably sick and <laughs> on your way out whereas if your if your metrics are improving then you're probably getting healthier okay so and that's what I and and I want to do is I want to play around with my bioelectric find out ways that I can improve my biomarkers my electrical biomarkers and then and, and improve my health now ten years ago I was a, a walking uh, heart attack and stroke my blood pressure was 219 over 150 and because of the uh, blood clots from my injury in my leg and so uh, and so my health has improved 
an incredible amount in the last 10 years and it's simply because I've been working on it and so and I'm now at the, the stage where I can I want to take it a little further and go a little deeper in all this stuff so anyway that's my that's the why I'm doing this and there and there are a lot of um, and there are a lot of a other aspects to it too like the magnetic part of it. We don't know very much about this. This is the least physical. You might say that magnetics are the are the wave aspect of it. It's the least physical. Electricity is is a, a little more physical because electricity the electrons actually have do have a little tiny bit of mass to them, you know. But the the chemo part that's the most physical and that's where our medical industry is focused on. They go to the doctor, you know, and they just pump you full of pharmaceuticals and shit. And and I don't think that's a good way to, to handle and be responsible for your own health. I think we ought to take a, a preventative approach because these these biomarkers right here can tell you way before you get sick if you're on the way to getting sick or not. Doesn't that make sense? Those ought to be the very first hints that you're having some type of a health problem. Let me real quickly show you another one of Becker's discoveries. This is a uh, cloth that's made from silver and nylon. It's 55% silver and 45% uh, nylon. And Becker discovered that by wrapping this this uh, silver over a wound, that the the wound healed a whole lot faster. Okay. Now, why do you think that is? I personally think that that the silver increases the body's potential, the electrical potential, and that the body is using that to help heal. Now that's that's my personal opinion, but it, it has some uh, supporting evidence for that. I bought this. Uh, I got like three or four yards of this silver cloth a few years ago, and I've I've got it cut into strips. This piece right here is about one foot wide by two couple of feet long or a little more and then I, I've got this I can wrap around my leg or my arm or my head or my neck wherever I get an injury and I've got a great big one that I cut into like a tunic uh, or a poncho where I can slip my head through an opening and I can wrap my entire torso in this in case I get uh, bad so I, I basically bought this for um, health emergencies you know when I get injured but I, I haven't had <laughs> any really bad injuries or anything to, to try it because my health has been improving but uh, I, this is part of my, my medical supplies for uh, the future because uh, I think it's going to get a lot worse. So anyway, um, I think that's probably it for this video and I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next time.